Everybody shame. Everybody groove. Everybody shame. Mary, Mary, on my mind. The folks are going, but this is all mine. Mary, Mary, I want to be with you. You're listening to The Morning Show with Kai and Friends. Live from Cleveland, Ohio, as well as some other mystery locations. Brought to you by Catalano TV. Start your day with a chuckle and a laugh with Kai Brancaccio and friends. Let's get ready to rock and roll, baby. We sing my song. Rolly Baroni, who's gonna be there too? And bouquets, bitches. Hope you're all doing well this fine, marvelous Monday morning. That's right. Hope everyone's doing well. It's going to be a great day today. Miss Honeybee in the chat. Ross Dogs in the house at the start. Great to see you, Ross Dogs. Hope you're doing well, my friend. I'm trying to make out the picture you got there. <laughs> you know, it's a different image on it. It's a kind of always curious to see what's there. <laughs> Mr. Big Shot getting much needed beauty sleep. I think he's supposed to be in here. Um, he he was on with us at the Guitar Guys. Uh, well, he was in the chat yesterday in Guitar Guys, and uh, he was uh, letting us know he was going to be here today. I'm not sure if we're going to get a visit from some creepy clown or or what the deal is there. You know, that's uh, it could be interesting. We'll see. Uh, we got a good show for you here today. Got the uh, grossly embellished history is back in the saddle again. And uh, we're looking forward to uh, running those as uh, me and Miss Honeybee have a good time putting those together. Now, um, I don't see, I don't see uh, Mr. Big Shot in here just yet. Um, so, one of the things that uh, we always like to do is uh, start out with um, Kai's morning stretch. And that's is to help to get the endorphins flowing, get the creative juices going. Take each member, your arm, your legs, each, and stretch out into each respective directions. Those four directions. Your right, your left, your right leg, your left leg. Deep breaths, maybe a sip of coffee. And a moment to just think about those things which you are thankful for. And that shouldn't be too hard. <laughs> There's, there is always something to be thankful for. I don't think it's too hard to figure out something that you can uh, reflect on. Anyways, some might even say, I'm thankful it's Monday. I don't know. <laughs> if you love your job and you can't wait to get back to it, yeah, you might be thankful it's Monday. <laughs> there's a lot of reasons to be thankful it's Monday, quite honestly. Uh, there's a lot of ladies who are watching the kids in, uh, on the weekends. and you know, Maybe they're getting a break Monday. Who knows? Could be any number of things. But today is National Medal of Honor Day. Today's National Medal of Honor Day. Well, all right. Definitely cheers to those who who have uh, warranted such uh, such an honor, really. And uh, what else we got? Um, Tolkien Reading Day. I think I'll pass. <laughs> if you, you know, if you want to read Tolkien, go ahead. Enjoy it. Have a good time. And uh, what other national day? La national Lobster Newburgh day now i i have to admit my ignorance here i i do not know what national lobster newberg day it's got an image of it. it looks like a big old uh 
old old style of um, bread that's in a circular loaf, uh, old style loaf that's got this top shaved off of it and scooped out the flour and, or rather the bread inside and then filled with uh, maybe a lobster, lobster bisque or something anyways. That's what it looks like. Maybe a little bit of lovage or parsley on top, something like that. Maybe a little garnish of rosemary on the side. I don't know. I've never heard of lobster Newberg. But I do love lobster. So the cockroach of the sea celebration via the Newberg method. How about that? We'll go with that. And Ross Box says, noise. <laughs> Why not? Where is my dear brother, Venom? Where's my dear brother, Venom? We've got some weird science daily news here today. James Webb Space Telescope captures the end of planet formation. Well, I'd much prefer to see the beginning, but that's okay. It's a start. <laughs> Secrets of the Van Allen belt revealed in new study. I don't think most people care about the Van Allen belt. Signs of, of life would be detectable in single ice grain emitted from extraterrestrial moons. Well, that's kind of a fascinating thing to think that you could detect something that far away. Well, you know, if you possessed the ice grain, I could see that argument. So maybe there's a way to capture that with uh, one of these satellites that opens uh, a uh, retrieval bay in order to capture some uh, items along its journeys and then, uh, well, via gravity, find its way back to the Earth. I don't know. It's, it's, it's kind of an interesting thing to imagine, huh? Research suggests how turbulence can be used to generate patterns. Well, anything you can manipulate can be used to generate patterns. That should be no surprise. So that's a little surprising. Anyways, um, hey, Brent Monkhouse in the house. Good to see you, friend. And uh, Miss Honeybee's chiming in. She's going to edumacate me. Uh, National Lobster Newberg Day on March 25th ushers in a celebration worthy of a sea captain, an American seafood dish, lobster. Yes. Well, okay. It doesn't have to have that loaf of bread. Well, then I'm all signed up for it. <laughs> we'll go with that one. I'm not going to eat it in Newburgh. I'm going to eat it in uh, Cleveland, Ohio. Hope you're doing well, Brent. We've got the uh, launch of uh, Grossly Embellished History this morning. We're back at it. Some back cross talking to Chad. Brent went to see the Poseidon Adventure at a Darwin Drive-In. Oh, very cool. Um, that's At least that's uh, the uh, Ross Dogs is putting that <laughs> out there, <laughs> which I love when he does that shit. Brent's starting to do that too now, which is kind of funny. Took the oot. Okay. Hey, Terry Knee in the house, our dear friend. I'm thankful my granddaughter is off school till April 2nd so I can sleep in. <laughs> so you have the uh you have the task of helping to bring her to school it sounds like or preparing her for it anyways well good for you that's that's good terry i'm glad to hear that um i didn't catch the tail end of the movie last night i i tend to go to bed pretty early uh, but I, I was watching with you guys in there and uh, i did ask uh terry knee what was your spirit dog I know you mentioned what you thought my spirit dog was, a black lab, I want to say. And <laughs> I did ask Cut of the Jib what Terry Knee's uh, spirit dog was. In fact, folks in the chat, Ross Dogs, Brent Monkhouse, others listening who aren't necessarily chatting uh, back yet, let us know what your spirit dog is. What dog represents you the most? If you had to define a dog and say that uh, somehow that dog represents you in your spirit, 
which is really kind of a funny, funny uh, thing to imagine. <laughs> Chime in, let us know which which dog would it be that most. And now none of them are going to do justice, right? But which one most closely represents you? We'll ask that question. I know one thing. Um, we got uh, one dog is pretty late this morning. <laughs> Now, I did send the link, so I'm not at fault. However, I did not post this show last night. I was going to post the um, Alpha Shot Lounge this morning, and I should have posted it last night because the boss beat me to it. The boss posted the Alpha Shot Lounge. I should have posted it last night probably. but uh, Well, in hindsight, next week I'll post it the, the evening before instead of waiting until the morning. So Joey had a number. I didn't get to catch him yet this morning. Joey had a number of broadcasts uh, folks can catch up on, too. I I think, did he do a walk and talk also? I don't know. There was a bunch of things that uh, Joey released, videos he made. So I'll have to definitely check that out. Now, I still took the Ute. You got to educate me. Educate me, Brent. What is took the Ute? Probably answering Ross Dogs or something. Brent Monkow says cattle dog. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That'll work, right? Cattle dog. Yeah, I can I can relate to that one too. <laughs> Do they have Cattle dogs that handle bison. I imagine that might be a little bit more of a challenge. I could be wrong. Maybe they do, but man, uh, some of the uh, some of the American bison. Uh, there are channels that have American bison farms on YouTube, and they're pretty interesting. And uh, once in a while, my wife and I will run some clips from them. We used to subscribe, but then they started getting these uh, tearjerker videos, and so we're like, we don't need the drama from that. So <laughs> we unsubscribe, but we still look once in a while because uh, we, we're fascinated to see the bison, which we think are absolutely delicious. Just love. But have, Brent, let us know if you ever had American bison, Brent. It is fantastic. I, you know, I prefer lamb over it, but certainly is a nice uh, variety, you know. Is the St. Bernard the one with the barrel of whiskey around its neck for people lost in the mountains? Yes, the snowy mountains at that, right? Yeah, right. Isn't that uh, with the Switzerland or something? Yeah, I like that one. That's a good one. Listen, there's there's a couple that, that has one of those around here, and every time they're walking that dog, I mean, it's just one of those things where it's a neck turner, you know? You, you just turn your neck, and you just like... You can't help but to look at the beauty of that animal. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Just a gentle giant. Beautiful dog. Now, this one doesn't have any whiskey with it, so that's why I didn't go outside to try to greet it, you know? But uh, <laughs> if it had a barrel of whiskey, I think I might have gone and said hello. Actually, I don't drink too much. Quite honestly, it's very rare for me. But <laughs> that is funny, though. Very funny, Ross Dogs. And Miss Honeybee says border collie. Well, that's nice. I like that. Are you sure it's for the lost people? <laughs> Are you sure it's for the lost people that whiskey? Yeah, well, um people sometimes they need an excuse to have a sip. <laughs> right? I don't know, Ross Dogs. I think maybe you're getting that from some cartoon or something, maybe, right? <laughs> I don't know where that comes from. It does seem familiar, though. Doesn't it? It does seem familiar. Or maybe the people that want to be lost. How's that? Yeah. That's funny. Uh, Terry Nee says, I'm unthinkable. I left the morning school alarms on. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, so you have an alarm that you do not have to set that is just set and it repeats. Or or you're like me where you, you turn the alarm off and then you reset it right at the same moment. That's funny, Terry, because um, I actually find a, a regimented plan to be uh, better for me. I, I actually like the uh, 
getting up at the same time every day, going to bed at the same time every night. I kind of like that. It uh, just makes for easier, uh, for me, easier functioning and less. Uh... Hey, I'm, I'm glad the clown didn't show up. I was afraid we we're going to have some kind of creepy clown in here or something. Good morning. Pose on a clown said it's too early. So this is Mr. Personality in here, huh? Unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> what do you mean, unfortunately? Are you unhappy to be here? Or do you think that we're unhappy to see you? Which one is it? I was told that you, I was told by Venom that you didn't go on till 8 o'clock in the morning. Ah, uh, Venom's, Venom's playing some games, huh? And you I know, see. I don't know who's lying. Who's lying? This show has been at 7.30 for <laughs> it's been a long time, man. Months and months and months. Uh, okay. Well, you know. <laughs> I'm not lying. I'll, I'll, I will have to get on Venom for lying. So you're saying, and I wasn't saying Venom's a liar because I know he gives out strikes. I'm just saying I'm not lying. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> you can make your... Uh, you you know you're, you 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 make your assertion that uh, someone's lying, but I I'm not I'm not making that assertion. <laughs> but all I'm saying is that we start at seven thirty, and that's okay if you're a little bit late, you know. Well, you know. So, mm -hmm. Venom Venom's taking a nap because he was too busy in Joe's chat room last night. Oh yeah. Cool. Joey had a bunch of videos he made. In fact, here's a comment from Ross Dog says, Joey went live at 4 a.m. and was putting floor down in some random apartment. Well, I don't know nothing about that, but hey, Ross, did you get Venom's message yesterday? He wanted to know if we should fire Mrs. C or not. <laughs> Mrs. C gonna get fired by Joey. You're talking to Joey now directly. Is that right? No, no. From Venom. Oh, okay. I see. You're you're asking if Venom thinks that uh, Mrs. C should be fired, huh? Is that right? Exactly. Okay, exactly. <laughs> You know, I will tell you this, um, Mr. Personality. I um, I tried to launch this morning. Uh, I made an effort to launch here on uh, StreamYard. I realized that it wasn't linking to the X platform. And then I thought, okay, well, screw it. I'll just go to Rumble. And then I went to Rumble. I was going to launch from Rumble Studios. And the uh, Grossly Embellished History video would not upload. Um, it wouldn't upload properly, and I'm like, well, screw it. Now I'll go back to StreamYard. So <laughs> we are only on one platform right now, uh, YouTube, and uh, for our morning show. Um, anyways, uh, so that was uh, interesting this morning to see that. Um, you know, I should have posted it last night, and then I wouldn't have had those troubles, right? You get it. You get it. But you know what? Mrs. C is going to stay. Oh, Mrs. C is going to stay now? You're not calling her a Grinch or anything like that this morning? Yeah, that was Venom, not me. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. Forgive me. <laughs> it's it's hard for me to keep track of all these different, uh, well, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> it's hard to keep track. Who says what? And understand that Miss Honeybee so he was, she was going to be taken up from the great Mrs. C. Yeah, the ladies, the gals are going to stick together. You know that, right? You know, I mean, this is the gals got to stick together so that guys like you and I don't try to go and compete with them and stuff like the Olympics and that, you know, <laughs> they got to stick together. You know what? I can't believe that bozo the clown had no business going into cut of the chat chat room yesterday. Oh yeah, with the sharp teeth? He was having a good time. I think actually uh Jib was entertaining inviting him next Sunday on the guitar guys, two thirty on Cut of the Jib's channel. 
who's our go-to source for rock and roll information. And they cut us up. They cut. Said, he's getting way too out of hand with these multiple characters. Gotta <laughs> come back. Well, guess what? You don't talk to. You don't talk about that. No, no, no. <laughs> because I still got. Four. Uh, there's more, right? There's more where that came from. Forty-four more characters. Of Four more. Holy smoke! Well, at least it's symmetry, I suppose. <laughs> Every answer string, 44. Now, this is uh, this is news to me. 44 more. Wow. Exactly. Unfortunately, I don't think you like that, Kai. Well, I, you know, I, I wouldn't say I don't like it. I would just say that it's going to be more and more difficult to keep track <laughs> and tabs as to who says what. It forget, I'll give you an example. For right now, it's hard to distinguish between Mr. Different Personality and Mr. Personality who is different than Mr. Different Personality. Do you see, well, do you see the Mr. confusion? Mr. Different Personality was let go. By Sorry. who? Who let him go? He had no choice but to go. Venom fired him. Venom fired him. And Venom works for you, though, as I understand it, right? Well, I told Venom to let him go. I see. So that I guy see. was nothing but fool crap. Just like Mrs. C. Yeah, so if I see him again, Mr. Different Personality, should I tell him he's full of bullpucky or just let him be? I'll tell him. You just let You'll him tell him. <laughs> job. You, you don't want me to have any conflict with him. I got you. All right. That'll work. Yeah, we don't yes, need that. Because uh, Mr. Different Personality and Mrs. C, they're full of crap. What? What do you mean? Mrs. C's full of crap? Yes, yes, yes. Them's fighting words. You might just summons her here with that kind of talk. You know, although if you're saying they're putting tiles in at, at four in the morning, they just might be sleeping right now. <laughs> well, you know, I heard there's going to be beef later on today on Alpha Shot Lounge between Venom and her. But I just got one message for you. I should get this. We're not coming to the album shot lounge tonight. I am. So what beef you got? You can take it up with Mr. Personality, okay? <laughs> and, oh, yeah. You told you tell that old tart. Venom's a star. Venom will never go anywhere. Tell the old what? Tart. Tart? Who, who's yeah. the old tart? You know, tart's a, tart's a very derogatory term for the Brits to use on, on women. A tart. The old tart named Joey C. Oh, now your friend of Joey is an old tart. Well, interesting. That's uh, that's quite the twist. <laughs> the old tart named Joey C. Oh, listen, you're you are gonna summons the uh, the Don. The Don comes in here. He he may be feeling like he wants to have some mercy, but he might not. Too. <laughs> you know what? You just hear to me, you cartoon fella. I don't care about crap. How dare you, you call know. me cartoon fella? Oh, you don't like it. <laughs> I'm terribly, uh, I'm terribly, deeply offended, as you can tell. <laughs> oh, man. Interesting. Very interesting. Shall but we read know, some of the... Yeah? Hold on. You know what? The Don is friendly with the personality, you know? And we <laughs> are very, very good we do. <laughs> right. What do you say? This cartoon fella and I are going to become friends in the next couple of days. I'm fine with that. I have no no problems there, Mr. Personality. i just glad that I can distinguish you from Mr. Different Personality, who is different, in fact, from Mr. Personality. <laughs> but the only way, the only way that could happen and Miss Honeybee's got to get on board. Miss Honeybee's got to get on board. You mean she, you're saying she's got to uh, let go of her devotion to her friend, Honey C, which is Mrs. C. You're saying That's Honeybee, right. you're, you're asking Honeybee to betray Honey C. Is that what I'm hearing here? That's right. 
Yeah, I don't think there's any except chance of that happening. The fear for a Mr. Personality plan. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't, listen, Mr. Personality might have a plan, but uh, I'm going to, listen, don't take this personal, but I'm just going to say that's not well thought out because, uh, yeah, the, the honeys, the honey C and the honey B, they stick together. <laughs> yeah, and, oh, you... and wait a second, and wait a second, uh, Spider's looking for somebody that I need very, very good, okay? Have you seen Beetlejuice? Beetlejuice, yes. You brought this up yesterday. Well, somebody brought it up yesterday. I'm not sure which one. <laughs> was. I'm looking for Beetlejuice because he said that he's better than all of us. And I've got to say, Beetlejuice are not. I see. You know what, Beetlejuice? You just like this cartoon fella. <laughs> okay. Well, this cartoon fella is going to start reading some chat here. Uh, Brent yes, Monk. Let's go. Read some chats. Yeah, I asked him what the Ute was, and uh, he's he's educating me in that the utility is short for utility. I guess utility vehicle, for example, like a service truck. It's like an El Camino we use here for work, except etc. Because F one hundreds are no good off road. F one hundred. Um. So the is that? Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Is that like a Ford brand that's sold there, and they they don't they don't do the F one fifties or F three fifties. They sell them in terms of F one hundreds. Um. Let me know, Brent. Maybe that's just something they do when it's uh, a international market. I'm not sure. Mr. Big Shot has got a point, Rostock says. So he always does. But, you know, be respectful here, uh, Rostock. So you're referring to Mr. Personality this morning, right? <laughs> Is that right, Mr. Personality? Historically, St. Bernard rescue dogs were bred by monks in the Swiss Alps to help rescue travelers lost in the mountains. These dogs were often depicted as carrying barrels of brandy around their necks. Yeah, I certainly remember seeing that. I can't say I've ever been, uh, uh, well, rescued by one or uh, had the satisfaction to have a sip of the fine brandy that they might carry with them. But it sounds like the, something the Swiss would do, doesn't it? Have you ever had Swiss chocolate? Have you ever been to Switzerland and had a, uh, an espresso cup? with being a hot chocolate like from switzerland oh my goodness gracious that's got to be like one of the best cups of hot chocolate i've had aside from maybe uh lake como i want to say i had a nice nice hot chocolate in lake como that was probably right on par with that one anyways just love my time in switzerland beautiful place lake lucerne in particular is just gorgeous really enjoyed that so thanks for that information there, Terry Nee. He pulled that out before Miss Honeybee uh, went digging for it. Very nice. And also, obviously, very accurate because uh, people were lost in the mountains, in the, as you had mentioned, right? Venom, please share your snapping turtle stew recipe. <laughs> oh, man. I caught one of those some years ago. Not intentionally. Well, well, well. I have woken up and I remember I heard my good pal, Mr. Personality, was being very rude to you, Kai. Oh, look, hey, it's Venom Spiders here instead of Mr. Personality. Venom Spider, we have inquiry minds want to know did you, in fact, fire Mr. Different Personality? That is correct. I actually did. Okay. <laughs> it's hard to keep track. I'm going to have to write these things down here. I have fired him from our very, very other friend, Bozo. You fired him for Bozo? Now, did you have good cause? Because this could come up into some litigation, you know, in the uh, Baltimore listen, courts. Listen, listen, or listen. Maryland courts. Listen, listen here. It was a good reason why. And you'll find out why I had to. He had to be replaced by a bozo. You'll, you'll find out in the future. Okay. Because so uh, I have a have... message directly 
for you from Bozo. Oh, what's Bozo my... Bozo said, he'll be on first thing tomorrow morning. Oh, no, 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 wait a second. He might <laughs> pop up later on tonight. Oh, he might be on... He may end up showing up on the Alpha Shot Lounge. Is that what you're implying? Yes. Okay. I to run that. off. To run off Mrs. C. Okay. All right. Well, let's let's get t- caught up in the chat here. Venom, he wants you to share. Brent asks you to share your snapping turtle stew. Did you do you have a recipe for that? No, I don't. If I did, I wouldn't get my recipe out. Okay. And Terry says, next to help warm up hypothermic victims. However, this image of the St. Bernard is largely a myth. Well, I don't know. Made it into some cartoons, I think, when I saw when I was a kid, maybe. <laughs> That's a bold statement about firing, Rostox asserts. Hey, Detroit by Dark is in the house. Venom Spider is stuck in a web. Listen, uh, it's been so long that Detroit by Dark hasn't been here. We've got the Virgin Bell for him. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no Virgin no, Bell no. for Detroit that by Dark. He's been here enough. Wait, okay. wait, 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 wait. Shut up, Mr. Personality. <laughs> Is he there with you? Oh, I imagine. <laughs> Try to ring that bell he wants to do so you'll like it. Do you want me to ring the bell more? No, Is that's that what you not. Said? Just the personality you have a problem with your bell. Don't you don't like this bell? Did you you know have... what? You know what? You cartoon Did... guy, I'll be on the Elsa Shot House also tonight. Me, you're going to have some words. Uh oh. We're going to have words tonight on the Alpha Shot Lounge? You're not going anywhere, Mr. Personality. <laughs> I think You're there's a little struggle going on here. here. Because uh, you know what? Bozo is getting his debut tonight on the Alpha, Sh- on the Alpha Shot Lounge. <laughs> Interesting. And you know what, Mr. Personality? What do you got that? How are you going to say? Miss Honeybee has to choose sides. And she wants to be on Team Team Alpha Delana because you know what? This is Venom talking here, guys. Venom and Ross Dogs, we're going to take down Team Mrs. C. <laughs> I got to get caught up in the chat here. I'm starting to realize how far behind yes, I Yes, yes, yes. The chat room, please. Let's get back yeah. to it. I'm having trouble typing. My gigantic German shepherd wants to play. Well, I know what that's like, Terry. <laughs> the little guy, he has his way of, uh, he can mess up your ability to get to the keyboard there, right? And Brent Monkhouse says, yep, uh, Miss Honeybee says, Honeybee and Honey C. Brent says, Tart, Big Shot has been hanging out at Pickwick Pub, I see. <laughs> I think we have ones in Cleveland named Pickwick and Frolic, which Makes it a little more interesting, I guess. Does Thunder and John still haunt the Pickwick? I think he haunts anywhere there's alcohol. <laughs> I think that might be an accurate statement, huh? Oh, the Virgin Bell. That's right. It is the Virgin Bell. <laughs> and we got it out special for Detroit by Dark to welcome in here. He hadn't been in here a while, so we figured, well, you know, we'll... We we also wanted people to know that there is a virgin bell. So if you get some new new chatters that make their way in here, we now will ring the vir- virgin bell in honor of them. And Miss Honeybee says, "Can I be on both sides?" Well, isn't that a noble request? She's like, "Please don't force me to choose." Don't you? That you must well, appreciate that, right, Ben? You know, if you be on both sides, that's kind of like. How should I put it? You be on both sides. That's kind of like throwing you in the middle of crossfire. Or but it's kind. Of, maybe it's basically maybe it's, you're, 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 you're 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 playing both sides, but because you don't know who to go to. But you know, 
I'll let you go with both sides, but I don't know how the alpha's going to feel about that. Oh, she I might, see. You're saying that she... She might take it some type of way, but you know, we don't got to let her know. We can keep it a secret. Oh, I, yeah, I don't think that uh, she implies that she's not um, in the alpha's corner. I think she's just saying that she, she, loves, she loves them both. I think that's the implication there. I... I don't want to put words in her mouth, but I think that's the intentions there is to say that we're a big family. That's what she's trying to say. That, that yeah, that's what I'm going to say. That's my story. What, I had an awesome stream late Saturday. Well, what was it? Late Friday night or into Saturday morning after the wrap up show with Mrs. C. Unfortunately, there were some people that asked about me. Because I wasn't there. Well, guys, guess what? I didn't get the invite. It was Joey and Mrs. C, unfortunately. And I just got to make that clear. Ah, that makes sense. Okay. And plus, if I did, it would it was very short notice. And there's no way I could make that. Okay. Well, Terry says, so you rang the virgin bell. <laughs> That's right, Terry. We rang the virgin bell. <laughs> That's right. The virgin bell is ringing. <laughs> like the little little smiley face he puts there. Well, what do you say, Madam? Shall we run this week's grossly embellished history? Well, I thought you were around, but you didn't. Yeah, let's get yeah, to that. Yeah, let's roll it. All righty. Enjoy, folks. <laughs> Here we go! <laughs> Starting today's episode of This Day in Grossly Embellished History. And the year one is designated as the origin of the Dionysian incarnation of the world. Reference Dionysius Exegus. He was a 6th century Eastern Roman monk born in Scythia Minor. Dionysus is best known for his role in the Revenge of the Scythian Monks. Well, he also invented the term Anno Domine, which uh, refers to the year of our Lord, or A.D., and uh, it only that's the reason we're here in the year 2024 right now, you know? And it only took us around 2,000 years to get from the Christ child to, well, the day of which we have a neural link, and perhaps even soon to be a collective consciousness. I mean, the year 31... The first Easter, according to the calendar maker Dionysius X Goose, he said the only thing better than raising the dead is raising yourself. Happy Easter, <laughs> you sons of bitches. And in the year 421, Friday at 12 p.m., the city of Venice was founded. They celebrated by dressing silly and eating some spaghetti and meatballs on a boat. Yeah. Oops, I forgot to mention. Also, there was a handsome man pushing on a pole. Yeah. In 1409, the Council of Pisa opens. Elects the anti-pope Alexander the Fifth. One has to wonder, is that when the Leaning Tower of Pizza started to lean in the first place? With the anti-pope uh, being the first signs of it? And no, it isn't the Leaning Tower of Pizza. That is very different. Oh, marona me. Estupido. I in 1598, Cornelius de Hotman's fleet departs Amsterdam for the East Indies. Indonesia on his second voyage in search of the then exotic spices cloves, nutmegs, mace, cinnamon, and pepper. 
What kind of pepper, you ask? Why, white pepper, of course. Black pepper was considered racist back then. Also, uh, to celebrate, he danced the jig in his wooden Dutch shoes. And he also had his girlfriend pay for half of his fare. In 1609, Henry Hudson embarks on an attempt to find the Northeast Passage to Asia for the Dutch East India Company. Well, he just dis- explores North America instead. To celebrate his descendant, Jake Hudson, they all drank Coca-Cola Classic. They ate some ho house And after a nice tray of empanadas, they all took a nap. And there you have it, folks, as this day in history with gross, disgusting embellishments has been established here on The Morning Show with my friends. What the heck are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> I'm, I'm a mature young man. <laughs> I'm stupid. And there you have this day in grossly embellished history. <laughs> Yay! I <laughs> like Ross talks. I got my ghoul. Uh, Axajou Goo Goo Goo. <laughs> Some funny names, man. Um, Miss Honeybee says, Sorry, Ross, there's no son of Castro. Not in that one. We'll have to make up for it, though, won't we? We might have to play the origin story for son of Castro. Well, only if it gets requested. We only do that by request. Not that I am, uh, well, using uh, my influence in order to. <laughs> and uh, Rostock says Henry Hudson doesn't get mentioned enough. We need more Hudson, doggone it. I noticed that, Miss Honeybee. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, well, if there's a, uh, there's, listen, we make these grossly embellished histories. If we have more demand for certain elements, then, doggone it, we're going to deliver those elements to the uh, folks that request them. Like, for instance, if there weren't enough, well, for example, bulbous items in this, uh, you know, like bulbous items that are on the upper portion of, uh, say, a female, if there weren't enough of those and the, the chat were to say, hey, we need a little more of that, uh, or if perhaps there wasn't enough mention for <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about there, Miss Miss Honeybee. I was not being quite that specific. I will roll with it, though. Uh, or if you're saying there's not enough mention of, uh, well, son of Castro, you know, these kind of things, we can always, uh, we can accommodate. We have mentioned, there. there is a mention, I think, of a couple of the folks in chat this week in the uh, Gross and Bell's histories, which we like to do. Uh, it doesn't always occur when we're making them, because we, we typically, I write them on, um, I try to write them on Friday evening, Saturday mornings. And uh, so we record them on Saturdays and Sundays. It takes hours to do, but it's fun. And uh, we have a good time with it. So, yeah, Ross Talks nailed it on that one. Lack of boobage duly noted also. Now, Ross Talks, we you must give us an indication. Was, was there disappointment? Because <laughs> if there was disappointment, well, we will have to make up for that in next week's <laughs> grossly embellished history. Uh, there were some. Be fair now. There were some, but uh, maybe it was inadequate. You let us know. Uh, <laughs> the folks in the chat have uh, some say into in terms of. Uh, well, we don't want to underrepresent certain very special physical characteristics that the people have come to expect in such things. What, what do you think of that, Venom? You agree? Does that make sense? This honeybee says boobs on the brain. I don't know. It happens. I guess uh, I guess Venom doesn't have a comment on that. He's got boobs on the brain, too. That could very well be. Oh, you know, I'm very sorry. <laughs> uh, you know, that's always on my brain. <laughs> it is the human condition, is it not? I think most of the guys would would agree with that statement. I think it's fair and accurate, right? That's right. 
What do you say? Should we run one song? No, 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 no. No? No one song? No? You're, you're opposed to that, huh? Okay. Yeah, that's right. We could run Joey C's Walk and Talk, the 36-second one, the short one. I have to ask Joe if he wants a shorter version of the uh, other Walk and Talk song. It is a little long. He had mentioned the other night, and we can run. We can make a shorter one. We'll clip it down. Oh, yeah. Joey C's Walk and Talk. It's a sight to see. He's got the moves. He's got the groove. Oh, can't you see? Joey C's Walk and Talk. It's a melody. Catching all the attention, making heads turn, can't you see? Yeah. Joey sees walk and talk, it's a sight to see. He's got the moves, he's got the groove, oh can't you see? Joey sees walk and talk, it's a melody. Catching all the attention, making heads turn, can't you see? Yeah, yeah that's what I was talking about, Venom. No. That's a shorter one. Leave it how it is. <laughs> leave it how it is. The, the, leave the longer one how it is. The shorter one's fine, right? The longer one, leave that one how it is. It's it's like two, well, is it two, uh, two minutes and 21 seconds. Mr. Personality said, leave it how it is. Mr. Personality says, now, Mr. Personality is your boss, right? That is right. Okay, so you're going to take the, uh, well, the dictation of his orders with regard to that. Okay, that makes sense. No Wan Song. You mentioned that as well. Okay, we can roll with that. I do think that, um, let's see what we got in the chat here. Ross Dog says, yes, boobs on the brain. Yes. I think it's a yes he wants more of them. I don't know. Every time a virgin bell is wrong, a fill in the blank. <laughs> That's, this sounds like a really interesting... Uh, this could be fun. Every time the virgin bell is wrong, which is this... Every time the virgin bell is wrong, great-grandma wants another espresso. No, that, that's not quite as in line with it. Every time the virgin bell is rung, Venom gets another personality. <laughs> or one, I should say. There's one. Can you come up with one, uh, Venom Spider? Every time the virgin bell is rung, what happens? Come up with something creative that you can share with us every time the virgin. If you feel so. I don't want to put you on the spot. It's just if you feel like uh, participating. And we'd love to hear from the chat, too. What happens every time the virgin bell is wrong? What is it indicative of? You make a Mr. Personality mad. I can ring that bell. I'm making Mr. Personality mad. Well, he's not here, so. <laughs> he's listening in. Every wow. time ring that bell, he might pop on. I see. So you, you don't have an answer for that, then? Because Terry Neat no, came in with I this first. Oh, you do? Or you don't? No, I said I don't. Okay, that's cool. Terry says every time a virgin bell is rung, a fill in the blank. And his first reply is, a mother's heart is broken. Well, that, that means that you don't want that bell to ring all that often, do you now? Yeah. I don't want that one. Well, we know the one where every time you, every time a virgin bell is rung, a mother's heart is broken. Well, let's, let's think of that in terms of, uh, the literal sense. <laughs> yeah, I think that's pretty accurate, Terry. I think that's pretty accurate. However, I don't think she hears that bell being rung, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> and that's probably a good thing, because that could get really ugly for the one ringing the bell, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> what does the Ross Dog say? Mr. Big Shot has the VHS tape of King Kong lives in 1985. Is that true? Uh, that's wrong. 
that's wrong. Now I know you're not answering is Mr. Big Shot because you're Venom Spider, but you happen to know about this, huh? That's right. All right. Well, let us know, folks, if you have a uh, creative. Uh... Hey, hey, you, you cartoon fella, you wait one second here. <laughs> let us know yeah. if you have a creative. You know who I. You Virgil know who Boy. I am. You cartoon guy, you. Who are you? You keep ringing that bell, making me mad. Who? Oh, this is Venom, or is, no? This is Mister Personality, or is this yeah. the guy who got fired, Mister Different? No, no, this is Mister Personality. Okay. Okay. Just Mister Personality. I'm tired of you and Venom think y'all something, but y'all's not. And you know what? You could go tell that that uh, alien lady, Mrs. C, that she looks like an alien. Mrs. C looks like an alien. Yes. How, how does she look like an alien? Of all people, how does Mrs. C look like an alien? Explain that one to us. I don't got to explain nothing. I'm just a personality. You go back, you tell her what I got to say. And you know what? And Venom, you could go go boo-boo now. <laughs> boo-boo? Venom got a boo-boo? Is that what you're you saying? Know what? Got boo-boo? It's a personality. I just had enough of you thinking you just because you think you something because you're the boss. But guess what? I don't care who you are, Mr. Personality. You're not going to talk to Kai like that. <laughs> Venom, or, or are you? Alpha. <laughs> There's an internal struggle I sense going on here. Uh, I don't care what you do to me, Mr. Personality. You could take me away from the show you want. Yeah, that's what you're going to do. Or you and I could scrap it out. Wow. Well, this is kind of a cliffhanger here, quite frankly. Um, we're going to be end up uh, closing out the show here, and well, I think people are going to want to know what's going on with this tomorrow. Um, we have to wait and see if uh, Venom Spider emerges victorious, uh, fighting against Mister Personality, or uh, what? What comes of this? I I know that uh, the clown's going to be on tonight. Is that right? As I understand it. This is Mr. Personality. The clown's not coming on tonight. You know why? Because <laughs> Venom might not be there tonight. He might not make it to that oh. his, to the Alpha Shot Lounge tonight. Right. It might be me, you cartoon guy. Yeah. Well, v- Terry says Venom Spider is always on the web. If you get that alliteration there. And you know what, Terry? That spider <laughs> always got something up his sleeve on the web. But you know what? I'm telling y'all. If Venom don't get his act together, he won't be on his act so tonight. It'll be me. <laughs> and y'all don't want to see that happen, so he needs to apologize to me. With what he said, I give him those to 555 apologize. If he don't, I got something I'm telling you, you cartoon guy. You have to deal with me. So does that alien lady. <laughs> All right. Well, with that, we will... Uh... You know what? I'm not apologizing to you. I owe you know somebody. You're disrespecting the Alpha. You're calling Kai a cartoon guy. Why? What is with you? <laughs> I've done everything you said. You're going to punish me from the Alpha shot line show tonight? Well, guess what? I will be there one way or the other. I don't care what you got to say. <laughs> Oh, listen, I, I think uh, I think we'll close out the show then here with uh, appreciate you all coming in here. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to check out the Alpha Shot Lounge tonight at, uh, I want to say, 6 o'clock. I think maybe he said it at 6.30. Um, anyways, uh, it, maybe it'll go back to 6. I think that might have been an error. Um, but um, definitely catch that out. We'll be here tomorrow morning at 7.30. Joey sees Walk and Talk at 7.40, I want to say. Uh, I think he had something else scheduled, too. I'll have to look at the... uh, Oh, yeah, that's right. He has something right after this show today. So we're going to end up bugging out of here. I think Joey's going to be on another 20 minutes or so. And uh, so we appreciate you tuning in. Uh, Thanks for uh, watching. Chivyama Chao Lakayam Nastrovia. Cheers, tally-ho! Venom? I think you need to close the show up because there's about to be a bloodbath on here. Better, 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 better.